So when I started the basic series, uh, I thought about doing one on removing Flash, but I didn't really think it was all that necessary. However, I got a, two questions in about three days asking how to remove Flash. So here we go. This is very simple. You need three tools. You need um, some clippers for removing big bits. You need your hobby knife. And you need some very tiny uh, diamond files. Uh, these you can, nowadays you can get anywhere. Before they uh, were all Swiss made and really expensive, but uh, Chinese market you can get these uh, pretty cheap. Quite a few different sizes uh, or shapes. The one I use most often is the uh, half circle there and the round. So here we go. We got a what is this? This is a Sonya Creed figure from Malifo. This is pretty uh, pretty nasty in the way of flash. Start by removing the big stuff. So these pieces down here. We'll just use our clippers to remove as much as we can. And the smaller things, you just pop off with the, uh, the hobby knife. Of course, you want to make sure you're not removing anything that's uh, supposed to be on the model. Most of these you can just like bend back and forth and they'll pop off pretty much exactly where they uh, need to. All these little uh, hanging pieces of um, computer are from uh, the vent holes in the molds. So basically there's a bunch of bunch of air holes so the air can escape and make sure it makes sure that the uh, pewter flows into all the uh, little crevices. So we got most of the big chunks off now. There's two ways to remove the extras and if I can get this on camera like this area here you can see a uh, mold line where the two molds meet and you just need to follow it around because it's basically the same position all over the figure so this goes down here ooh there's a nasty chunk of uh... here here's a good example of a screwed up mold this area right here you see it's kind of rough and it kind of extends uh past the holster. That is a tear in the mold. So they need to replace the mold on this figure. Molds are replaced all the time. Obviously this one uh, should have been replaced before casting this figure. To get that off, just gonna slowly trim it away. Not in the best position. And you can just pull pull something away like that. Uh, you can also use a file, of course. This is a little cramped quarters, though. And this is going to need some trimming later, but uh, I don't want to spend this whole video just doing that. <clears throat> oh, so back to the mold lines here. Um, two ways you can do it. For the first rough stage, you use the hobby knife, and you just want to scrape it any mold lines that you can. This usually only works on uh, flat surfaces. But we can get this one underneath the uh, arm here. Either use, a, use a knife like this or you can scrape like so. There's another area that would be hard to reach with the file. There's a lot on this figure. Oh, looks like the, yeah, there's, this mold is uh is pretty bad. There's some bad stuff here too. Ah, oh, this is gonna take a lot of work. All right. Um, once that's done, go with your files. Uh, use whichever shape is uh, best for whatever you're uh, sanding. Uh, all these little 
folds. I don't want to use the like the flat because obviously, first of all, it won't fit too well, and you're, you don't want to flatten all those uh, all those uh, folds in the uh, cloth. So the round gives you basically three options. You have the flat side, you have the round side, then you have the edge. For things like this, I use the edge. So I don't just completely destroy the molds, excuse me, the folds. And more, I'm more uh, likely to enhance them this way. There's a little chunk there. Let's use the flat side. Switch it around. This area of the cloak here can't really uh, file too well. Let's go back to the knife since it has a point. It'd be easier to get this off. See, that's a bit extra flash I didn't notice. It should be off. There we go. And this side over here, a little bit easier to get with the file. Aha, I just poked myself. Yeah, these are sharp. I have uh, drawn blood on these uh, several times. So you do want to be careful. Whenever you're filing, make sure you're always moving the file back and forth, especially on round surfaces, because you don't want a flat spot on a round uh, cloak or robe. And here, if we can see, again, we're kind of at a belt area with small folds, so we're going to use the side again. God, there's another tear in the mold here, Jesus. This figure sucks. That is. I'm trying to see if that's a tear or a flash or what. Yeah, that's an extra bit of flash there. Sometimes it's hard to tell, and more than once, more than a lot of times, I've missed flash somewhere and uh, haven't noticed it until halfway through painting the figure and when you get to that stage there's not much you can do especially with the paint on the area I mean you can go back and file it but then you're filing through the paint and it kind of ruins everything so as you're uh, filing just keep turning the figure around follow the mold line because it should go in the same line all the way around the figure. Now occasionally you'll have two mold lines and that's because they cast the figure and it didn't turn out 100% perfectly and so they put it back in the mold and added a bit more pewter. That's the uh, basics. I'm not going to spend 20 minutes filing this thing because that's what it looks like it's going to take. Um, one last thing about the hair. Hair is always a, a pain to uh, take the mold lines off. I just saw it. Where'd it go? So again, use the edge. Actually, I'm going to switch to my triangle that has a bit sharper edge. 
and just give it a quick view back and forth. You definitely do not want to over file and file all the hair down. You can also use your hobby knife to not really remove the mold line but more like sculpting the hair in deeper so you hide it at least hide in the recesses and it will uh, disappear so that's about it um, this is a messy figure so this is going to take a lot more work but uh, you get the general idea I hope and you know what I just realized her arm is completely bent so we get this back into shape there we go your arms no longer broken uh, one last thing when it comes to plastic figures uh, you do not want to use files on plastic figures all you need is your hobby knife and uh, plastic figures are done in the same process of a two uh, piece mold uh, this figure's already been cleaned up but uh, again you just scrape very carefully with your uh, edge of your knife wherever it needs yeah, let's see, this one's already cleaned up so <laughs> I have nothing to scrape on this thing but you don't want to use files because it will just chew away, too, uh, chew away too much of the material and so you can do it all with just your, uh, just your knife so there you go, let's clean me a figure uh, hope this helps. Bye.